Thanks for watching the vlog. Hit the like button, subscribe, and let's check it out. They just do it for the fame, yeah. I'm just trying to get my money in my lane, yeah, yeah. Cause you know be lame, yeah. And if you want it with it, project we got aim, yeah, yeah. That if it need to split your brain, yeah. I'm on my way to the money, I got some fame, yeah. Be n***a bad that I found my way in the game, yeah. Most of these n***a that do it to get some fame, yeah, yeah. They just do it for the fame, yeah. I'm just trying to get my money in my lane, yeah, yeah. Cause you n***a be lame, yeah. And if you want it with it, project we got aim, yeah, yeah. That if it need to split your brain, yeah. I'm on my way to the money, I got some fame, yeah. Be n***a bad that I found my way in the game, yeah. There they are. These were made with my 3D printer, super early prototype. So there are some surface imperfections here and there. In a future vlog, I'm gonna cover some of the features of the smart glasses. But right now on this vlog, I just wanna show you the process of creating these smart glasses. Um, I've tried like Yeah. One of the perks of living by a airport, you get to see cool planes, bruh. Finally figured out an issue that I was having. Well, now, now it wants to work. Finally figured it out. It's one of those things where after you figure it out, it makes so much sense in retrospect that it's like, yeah, of course. Next, I'm trying to get the, uh, the camera, I'm trying to interface the camera. Let's see how this goes. Hopefully this should be straightforward, but I mean, most likely will not be straightforward nothing really has been throughout this whole process but i mean that you know that's a part of a part of the game man it's a part of the game on fold now mm. signing off yeah <laughs>
was oddly satisfying. That's becoming kind of strenuous. Come on, baby. Who's fighting it, baby? There you go. I didn't include the entire process of um, adding solder to PCBs and stuff like that, but you kind of get the idea. Rubbed. Uh, yeah. Even without a roadmap or experience creating products, I said, oh well, I'm making smart glasses, baby, let's go. And after weeks of waiting, the camera for the smart glasses finally arrived. I can't believe it, I can't believe it, I can't believe it. After weeks of negotiations and back and forth, getting the details correct, details as far as uh, infrared filter, the focus distance, the sensor orientation, if I want the picture to be vertical or do I want it to be horizontal. That's nice. That real nice light right there. All right, I will be testing these out soon. Check out the resolution. Let's see what we're working with. If you're watching on YouTube, I have to remove the audio from this part because I don't, you know, to, to avoid any copyright strikes. Um, so go check out. I mean, basically, it was uh, Cupid Shuffle. Down, down, do your thing, do your thing. <laughs> it's June, and yeah, I've been 3D printing. Coding the firmware, uh, addressing hardware issues, PCB, this and that. Ah. Man, it's starting to take its toll. Let's check it out, see how it looks. I already can see a few changes that I want to make. The thickness is, is it's pretty thin. I would like to make the thickness a little uh, more substantial. For the most part, it's working, but I think this RAM that I'm using is faulty. Um, I've tried like eight from this company, and all of them give gives an error whenever I try to start it, start up the uh, the board. Fireworks shopping. What we got? <laughs> This is the old school on yeah, the channel. The this, <laughs> this, they may have these in the 90s. A few artillery shells. I think I might throw artillery shell by hand. I'm gonna see how that goes. Uh, <laughs> let's go! Nah. But yeah, we made it out here. Suffer Springs. I think we're gonna go to Birch. We're gonna get the kiddos. Yeah, look. Oh. This all it does, man? <laughs> Oh, oh. Hey, hey, throw it, Sean, throw it, Sean, throw it, throw it, throw it, throw it, throw it. Uh oh. Here we go, man. Uh, 2021, 4th of July is going down. He's that guy, guys. <laughs> here, here, here. Yeah. Oh, Pull away with the gun. Pull away with the grenade. Oh, oh that was so fast. Oh, oh. 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 Oh, oh.
الظهر يوم الست 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 الظهر يوم First prints always go wrong. It's always something that ends up happening in the first print. So, yeah, it's about to be an epic failure. Yeah, yeah. It's gonna take probably 12 hours, 13 hours. So, better print overnight. See how it turns out. 12 hours and 50 minutes later. Let's check this thing out, man. Let's go. kind of expected this to happen right there on the side except for that one part it's a good print solid print so uh, there we go free free at last all right it's time to clean this clean it off using isopropyl alcohol I already see where I can make changes with those supports to get a successful print this is the damage from the first print. Besides this, and I think I know how to fix that problem. I'm loving it. They fit nice. The camera fits. It fits. Now the print didn't print successfully. Second time in a row it didn't print right, but we're gonna get it right, man. But the good news is the camera fits. Um, I guess next, finish the rest of the pieces that fit around that camera cut out. All right, the temple is secured. That's the battery inside of the temple. Then it's a great fit. It's a snug fit. This is the top portion of the temple. It, it covers it. This is the outer part of the temple. And this is the inner. We grab both and it's, it fits right into place. So there's gonna be a flex cable inside inside of the temple that runs through here out right there into the glasses to the camera cut out right there i'm gonna fast forward through the remainder of august which was more weeks of cad 3d printing um, coding the firmware by september i've started to upgrade my pcb assembly process by picking up something called a reflow oven a reflow oven is used to solder chips onto multiple PCBs at once. All right, just fired up the the uh, uh, the reflow oven. Just fired up the reflow oven for the first time. Just trying to make sure that it works properly. Nothing is inside of it just yet. All brand new territory for me, you know, pretty much from here on out. So, but using the, the reflow oven, I've been using like a, a, a heat gun. So now I'm switching it over to more robust methods. Oh, it's making a noise. Oh, making a noise. Hopefully it didn't just break on me. <laughs> There's an owl that lives in that tree right behind me. Check this out. Dead, my folks. It's an apex predator. He's eating a squirrel. Trust me, guy. I don't want to mess with your dinner. Well, with your breakfast. 7 a.m. right now, man. Dang. Oh my goodness. There he is. Dang. This is the works like prototype. Here's the speaker, temple, 
So there's the microphone amplifier, those two chips on the right, right here, the one on the bottom, man, that is the RAM that gave me issues. Yeah, so all of the components that you see right here on the works-like prototype are inside of the glasses. The speaker is right there. Here's the PCB. Um, what else we got inside of there? Oh, a button right there at the bottom. And hopefully I can make it all fit. So that's pretty much the glasses. Uh, with all of the components kind of tentatively placed inside. After finishing what's known as a works-like prototype, it's time to put it all together onto one single PCB. My PCB needed to fit within a super tight space. Uh, it fits within the temple. So that increased the difficulty of designing the PCB. This is the camera connector to the ESP32. I need to route those traces. I underestimated the space needed to get around this chip. Not enough space, man. These, these vias take up too much space. Um, let's try the micro vias. These small vias versus these larger vias. After, I don't know how many hours, I solved the puzzle. All right, I got it done. So I basically laid out the, the traces, but I mean, I'm sure it can be better, but I don't want to spend too much time on optimizing trace paths and stuff like that. I just want this thing to work and move on to the next phase. Getting these things done, man, that's my, man, it's been a long journey, but it, it's coming to fruition. It's, def it's definitely coming to fruition. Once I received my PCBs, I soldered the chips using the reflow oven. Next, I programmed each PCB. Then, after that, I assembled the first prototypes for the first time. You know it's said that what you're doing at the end of the year is what you'll be doing most of the next year. The journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. And you know, it would be amazing to have unlimited resources and unlimited assets. But unlimited resourcefulness is also a great asset to have. Anyone from anywhere can make great things. I mean, look at me. I'm literally in a beautiful swamp right now. <laughs> The road may not be clear on the journey of a thousand miles. So what? Just keep moving forward to see where the journey takes you. I finally made it. Been a caught me a bitch. And he knew me hating. Cause they project on win. I don't fuck with new faces. These be lame and they just love to pretend. I be taking vacations with all of my gang and we be getting it in.